October is all about the traits, and if you love candy corn, you're gonna wanna stick around and see these three very easy treat recipes you can make with that being one of the ingredients. Hey guys, today I am sharing three super easy recipes that you can make with candy corn. My kids love treats and October is definitely the month to make them. So let's get right into these three super easy candy corn recipes. Are you ready to see how difficult it is to make a very <laughs> yummy and fun snack mix for your kids for this fall season? I totally am, and here's what you need to do. Step one, get a very big bowl. Step two, your favorite flavored checks. The entire box, pour it all in. Step three, mini marshmallows whole bag into the bowl. Step four, pick your favorite fall candy. I know not everyone enjoys candy corn or pumpkins, but these are definitely a favorite in my house. We're gonna add these to the bowl. All right, that is a lot of sweetness. So step five, we're gonna add, I mean, a little bit of a healthier option into our mix. Whole box of raisins in the bowl. Step six, we're gonna add some salty to our sweetness. Now I have a family size bag here. I am not gonna put this whole bag in here. I'm gonna do about half of it. Now before you enjoy, you're just gonna get your hands in here and mix it all up. Now you've got yourself a huge bowl of a fall fun snack mix. Store this in an airtight container and it will last you the entire month. Next up is candy corn bark, and all of these are so versatile. You really just use whatever you have on hand or whatever you would like to use. So I've got three bags of candy melts. I'm definitely going with the candy corn colors here, the white, yellow, and orange. And first up, I am just going to melt these according to the bag. And the bag says we're just gonna pop them in the microwave on defrost for a minute, stir it, and then just keep going in like 30 second intervals until it's all melted and ready for the next step. All of my candy melts are melted. This took probably about eight minutes doing them individually in the microwave, but they are nice and melted now. And all I'm going to do is dump this on, I have a cookie sheet here and I have it lined with parchment paper. This is just gonna make it easier to get off the cookie sheet once it's hardened. So you definitely want to line it with parchment paper or if you have one of those mats, the rubber mats that you can use, you could definitely use one of those too. So no rhyme or reason, I'm just gonna dump all three three of these out onto my parchment paper lined cookie sheet. Okay, so you can see I kind of just dumped it on there. Now I am going to just take the back of the spoon and I'm gonna try to even it out a little bit, spread it all around my cookie sheet, and then we're gonna go back and make some fun little designs in here. All right, there we go. Look at that marbled effect. So I just used the back of the spoon, spread it out, filled up my almost entire cookie sheet, and then this is just a chopstick. You could totally use like the bottom of the spoon or whatever, and I just took this and just kind of went like this to make the swirl effect. Super easy. All right, now for your topping. So I have some candy corn here. I'm just going to take that and sprinkle it around the chocolate. All right, my candy corn are all on there, and I just picked up this huge thing of miscellaneous Halloween-themed sprinkles. And again, since I'm going with the candy corn theme, I'm going to be using this one, and it just has white, yellow, and orange little dot candies in there, so I'm just gonna sprinkle that on top of this. And just to give it a little bit of sparkle, I'm gonna be using this orange candied sugar sprinkle as well. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and press the candy corn in here just to make sure that it sticks in here, doesn't fall off as the candy melts harden. 
Okay, so there is my bark. Now all you're gonna do is you could leave it at room temperature out on the counter. It is going to take several hours for it to harden if you do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop it in my refrigerator for 30 minutes. So 30 minutes is up. It is nice and hardened and now you're just going to, I wanted to show you guys how easy it comes off of the, look at that, straight up off the parchment paper. So now you're just gonna break it up. I'm probably gonna use a big knife maybe at first and see how that works, but I'll show you guys what I end up doing. Okay, so what I ended up doing was I just used this larger knife and I made indentations in it and then I just started breaking it up. You can make them as small or as big as you want. Some of these are super small. And this is just perfect for if you're going to, if you're having a get together, a Halloween party, or you know one little piece as a nice little treat in your kids lunchbox or at home just a fun snack for the holiday last but certainly not least we're going to start by melting three tablespoons of butter in a medium saucepan i've turned the heat down to low and now i'm going to add one two three cups of mini marshmallows and I am just going to keep stirring this frequently until my marshmallows are all melted along with that butter. While my marshmallows were melting, I went ahead and popped two bags of microwave popcorn. And now I'm just going to add a little bit of salt. This really helps with the extra sweetness that we're going to be adding to this. So however much salt you want, sprinkle that on right now. Okay, once your popcorn is popped and all of the marshmallows are all melted, now we are going to simply add our marshmallow mixture to the popcorn. Once you've got all that marshmallow mixture on your popcorn, you're just going to fold it into the popcorn and try to get as many of the pieces covered as you can. Next, I've got a cookie sheet here that I have lined with parchment paper, and I am just going to pour my popcorn out on here and spread it out a bit. Now that I've got all my popcorn spread out, I am back in my saucepan with one tablespoon of butter, and we're gonna melt it. Once that butter has melted, add one cup of mini marshmallows, and just stir that frequently until all the marshmallows are melted. Okay, after the marshmallows and the butter are all melted completely, you're going to pour this over your popcorn, but don't mix it up. You definitely want it to be on the top for the next part. All right, now that I've got my second mixture of butter and marshmallows over my popcorn, I'm going to add some candy. So I'm definitely going with a candy corn color theme here. I've got some yellow and orange M&Ms. I'm going to be using these yellow, orange, and white little pastel candy sprinkles, and of course, some candy corn. So you're just gonna take however much you want. This is very versatile. You can use different candies and just sprinkle them on the top. Now that I've got all the candies that I want on here, I'm going to let it cool completely, and then all you have to do is break it apart into little bars and serve, very similar to Rice Krispie Treats. All right, my favorite is just the easy cereal mixture. All three of these, you can, they're very versatile. You can mix them up. If you don't like candy corn, you could totally go for a different route. You could use like green, purple, and black and go with that, those kinds of Halloween colors versus the orange, yellow, and white. But definitely the cereal mixture, the harvest mixture, whatever you wanna call it, I make that for every single holiday and just mix it up. It's so easy, especially if you're having a large gathering because it makes quite a bit. My kids definitely were eating on that chocolate bark. Mm -hmm. Another one that's super easy. And the popcorn, that was a newer recipe to me. I've only made it once before, so we haven't really, fallen in love with that one yet. I'm still kind of messing around with it, but I love the Rice Krispie mix 
with it, like the marshmallows and the butter, I thought that was really good. It changed it up a bit instead of before, I would always like melt white chocolate and put that over it. So definitely good. I love these three recipes and I hope you guys do as well. Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. I share a new recipe three times a week. So I will see you in the next one.